Josh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sucker Bills, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, go! Oh, that's it. Now we rolling, baby. Come on, go! 
There we go. Let's go. Bro, there we go. Come on. Don't. That's it. Come on. Go. Come on. Work it. It's on you. Come on. Go. See it. Go. Shoot. Bossa. Boom. Let's go. Throw it back. Come on. Go. Move. Bossa. Come on. Fight. Let's go. Go. That's it. Let's go. Move. Hit him right in the forehead with that bottle. Go. I don't know what it is. Guess what? It's hood. So you grab me with two hands. I know if I take this knock and hit that rib, I'm going to loosen you up. So stop thinking. Forget the master pole. I don't care nothing about him. He don't live in the hood. Let's go. Let's go. Move. Thank you. Master pole don't exist in the hood. Come on, go. He grabbed your neck. Come on, there you go, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. All right, it's Amari. What the cat gonna do? He gonna come like, yo, what, what's up with you, boy? Come on, let's go. Come on, grab it. it. Ah! Grab me, boys. Ah! Let's go. Yes, Move. Straight, straight punch. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Hit, you got to hit right in the gut. There you go. Come on, go. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. OK. All right, everybody stop. Check this out. Because you're trying to do it like some movie or something that some master told you. See, this cat just came up to me in the club and grabbed me. Grab me. He ain't waiting for that. I'm not drawing back. I'm not doing this. I'm just coming straight up. Mr. Green, look how short and sweet it is. I mean, ah, right to the center line. Sir. Don't think about it. Sir. Guess what? Before he can even think about it, I got you, you done hit him. With that quick second, a pause. Go! Sir. Sir. Suck it up! Come on, go. That's it. Sir. Don't draw back. Sir. Everybody stop. Listen, I am not doing this. I am not doing that. Look, I got to get away with a crime. So I'm looking at the police there, stick up man there, the exit's there. So guess what? The exit's right here. When he grabs me with those, I just go right to the exit. I can't let my elbow up to, a, to make it slower. I got to respond right away. And the closer, the better. Boom. The faster you snap it back, boom, the more power you're going to do. Okay? Hey! Don't bring it up like that. Too much time. Go. Sir. Sir. Come on. I'm not feeling you because you're not feeling it. There you go. Come on. And I'm going to go with Mr. Mario on the wall. He's going, Bob. Drop down, Bob, and weave under. Grab, uh, grab to the arm. Okay. See how I grab his arm? He goes to the wall. Bam, right to the knee. Then I turn him around. Yep. And then, boom. There we go. And then I turn. Let's go. That ain't martial arts. Because I ain't had no teacher teach that to me. I just learned that. Use the wall. See that? Fire! He's going go. See that? Boom. See his face? Fire! Hit him again. Oh, my God. I'm just rolling, baby. Let's go.
Keep moving, John. Keep moving. That's it. Keep going out, Mr. Jeff. Keep moving, John. Keep spreading back. Let's go. That's what we're talking about, baby. Let's go. How we doing with In the street. I learned it from, from running the steps and from some guy, you in a crack game, and some guy come you and he crack your jaw. Now, two things can happen. The next time I come back in that crap game, I can let him crack my jaw again, or I say, yo, I'm going back to the game. He's going to bring it, but I'm going to represent this time. You might beat my behind, but you know what? That fight going to be so hard that the next time you see me walking down the street, it's like, yo, what's up? What's up? That's what this is all about. I'm telling you, martial arts and street fighting are two separate things. You can do all the technique all you want if you ain't got no heart when a cat when a cat comes up and steals you in your jaw, or a girl comes up and grabs your hair and begin to pull you down the street, if you cannot recover from that sort of panic mode, and guess what? Ain't nothing in the dojo going to come into play. I don't care what no master tell you. None of that stuff is going to even come into play. What's going to come into play, that's why I need you to zone everybody out. I don't care what nobody tell me when I'm doing something. I zone it out. Why? Because when that break off, it's just going to be a natural flow. It's like dancing. And all I got to do is keep on flowing and adapting and making sure I get the best of him. I can't tell you how that's going to go. But it's dictated by your heart and your spirit and your commitment. It's not about winning on the street. It's about surviving on the street. Most importantly, it's about awareness. That's why I don't drink. That's why I don't go to clubs. That's why I don't like a lot of people around me. That's why I keep people off. Because I need to know who's sitting behind me. When I go into a restaurant, I need to know that I'm sitting and watching the door. Because I ain't going to have nobody come in and start shooting up the restaurant and I ain't aware. I know that sounds crazy. But just like the cat, just keep driving up and down the street. I don't know if you've seen him. It's like a third time he just purposely drove up and down the street. I got to be aware of that. Because that's not happening in the hood. But now, guess what? A lady might leave and go home and he might say, yeah, you going to move now? And you might say, what do you mean, sir? He might get up the car and say, I said, are you going to move? I seen you running doing that little martial arts. What you know now? But in your mind, it ain't going to happen to you because you live in the suburbs. <clears throat> but the criminal come to the suburbs because they can't do the crime in the hood. So I'm more concerned with your flow and your adaptation because when you get a black belt, you're not me. Whenever we put on the gloves and we go and fight, I'm fighting you and I can't beat you. If you do you, I'm always going to have a challenge with my student. That's why y'all all different. I don't want you to be, be like me. I want you to be better than me. If when I come in and I meet you, and if I'm doing cardio with you, and you're like, what's up now, professor? Guess what? I can't get fat. I can't sit around and let the clock go past 3 o'clock. I got to get up because I know Miss Donna going to be in the gym, and if she see me slipping somewhere, she going to lose respect for me. I'm not going to be her aspir inspiration. If, I, if, I if you come into a cardio class, and I don't turn on the music that you two like, to get you pumping and get you dancing and moving and making you laugh in the back, then I ain't do my job. But guess what? I expect you to inspire me the same way. That's why the creativity of what you're doing right now is more important than anything. I don't care, even if you're doing your form. But I'm more concerned with, guess what? You made up something. Because guess what? Guess what? Whatever they said to do in the station, when you go to, to, to serve that warrant, that, that, that situation is going to be totally different, correct? Yes, sir. That hopper that probably come jumping out the tree. All concept of what they said in the station, go out the door. If I teach you that, I done fed you for the rest of your life. You feel me? Yes, sir. Go get a knife, a stick, or bat. Get something and bring it back. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? Let's go. Hey, he didn't say that. You got an issue. Anything we good? Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. It's all about you.